All right, y'all. Listen, Team Takeover. We got a deck profile. My man Johnny. What is going on, baby? What's up, man? Uh, I got first place at the regional, uh, Philly regional to be exact. I went undefeated with a draw. Unfortunately, it happens. Uh, it was my own mistake. It was uh, I was under Zombie World. I had Advent. I summoned the Eaglin for no reason at all. And then I realized time was called. And then I the Advent was just dead because the Eaglin on the board was just a zombie. So, oh, unfortunately. Boy. What? Uh, that just gives you the idea that I was playing Florida Reese, by the way. Listen, we still want to see the deck profile. Yes, I chose this place. Uh, let's start like... with the main first. Mm -hmm. uh, the main was, uh, let's see. Three Robina, three Eaglen, three Toucan, you know, the usual small birds. And after mm -hmm. that, so I played two Mpen, Avion, and Ryza. People are either playing two Ryza, or uh, if you like saw Couch List and other people's list, uh, they were playing, what was it? Two Mpen, Avion, or no, sorry, three Mpen, Avion, and Ryza, wow. or double Ryza, three Mpen. I tried those already, I didn't like it. Uh, I think 3M pen is a little bricky, but if you're like on, as you can see, I'm on a double unexplored wind, then maybe you can play three, that's up to you. Mm. I think four is just good enough. Uh, one DD Crow, worst card in my deck so far. Really? Yeah, it, it never came up. It's like the Bestial cards does more. And if you're going against the tier uh, decks, they're milling more than at least 15 cards, at least, give or take. So you feel so like, like it's not even yeah, worth it. Yeah, it's not yeah. enough. Cause like, if you hit one of the name, cool. Uh, they activate Scream, they play again, and then they mill another name, and then those names become, you know, right. other names, and then, you know, that makes whatever. Sense. Maybe last format was good, because the Shizu cards wasn't out, but uh, you have to play the one barrier statue until it gets banned. Three shifter, once again, until it gets banned. Uh, ironically, at the Philly Regional, I didn't draw uh, shifter much, mm. uh, except game noticeable was game three against Eddie in the final round. I drew, like, the stones, Rubina, Map, Prosperity, Harpy Feathers, Storm, plus this, Shifter. and I was, it was just a grind mm. game, and then he just, like, got Zombie Warlock on his own, and then he just couldn't out it, because I had the trap, uh, if you saw his deck profile, he also explained it why he just couldn't, like, get rid of it, uh, move on to the spells, three field spell, terraforming, some lists are cutting terraforming, mm. uh, it's very understandable, because you're playing, like, the six pots, mm. sometimes people are playing seven, but I think the six pots is fine. Uh, if you want to cut terraforming, that's also okay. Essentially, mm -hmm. like if you have the uh, fill spell plus the bird names already, then you're already in the engines out the deck. You're already playing uh, the three Avent. Uh, I'm on two unexplored wins. Why is it? Uh, so I saw Couchless. He was playing one, and then the other two is in the side. But because I'm at a regional, so there's uh, you're playing probably a lot of flu or a lot of tears. But this is more like a flu matchup. I was afraid to lose the the mirror. I, I, the mirror match is like really stressful. Whoever mm. gets to this card first wins. So I wanted to prioritize always winning game one if I'm playing against that deck. Right. Makes sense. Uh, two Book of Moon. Not a lot of people are playing it. Uh, I know Couch is playing Econs. I think Book of Moon, uh, Book of Moon is better. Uh, shout out to Evan for this one because Econ is, is dead turn one. You can't sack away your monster to dodge like an Imperm or a Veiler. So Book of Moon just does that. And also, like, if the Baguska, Econ does the same thing. You know, you put it in attack mode, but Book of Moon just, like, books. Yeah, already yeah. get rid of it, yeah. Just set it. Uh, the three pots, six pots, you have to play it. Consistency, man. Consistency. Yeah, this that's deck. the da downside about this deck and bricks. But uh, luckily, I didn't brick all day. Oof. Uh, Harpy, Ghost Art, uh... Some lists aren't playing it. Uh, I think it's wild for not playing yeah. it. You have it's to a free play another it. bird. It's a free another bird. Yeah, it's like something like a, a small bird. Uh, activate this, some bird. Chain block, so now they can't have this you. Mm -hmm. uh, the Dreaming Town and three Imperm. Uh, Imperms are goaded. They'll mm -hmm. like summon Kakalos, and then they'll attempt to search, and you just Imperm them, and now that Kakalos is just sitting there looking pretty. There you go. I uh, said just shifter and uh, imperms yeah. with the one D crow. Uh, shout out to my friend Pete. Well. He wasn't there, but he was there in spirit. <laughs> I see him. Yeah, he was. He stayed home because he felt a little tired. Understandable. Uh, so these are my ultimate Slayer targets, uh, as you're gonna see later on. Uh, I didn't play the uh, X Y Z that negates the monster because I took the the route that Couch took, which is the. Let me pull that out for you guys. Whoop. There it is. Giant, mm. this, these, and the Zeus package. Never made it. Um, 
it was just like if they shift uh we shift there or if they have a monster on board or whatever it is you make the dark dark it back makes elf elf back this then make uh you know ss code to start popping cars or whatever mm -hmm. it is or you can make gigantic gigantic swing uh beat over you know any baguska or uh, not baguska sorry anything that's like big their kit colors their kaleido and then you overlay to uh zeus out the zombie world oh, it's a whole yeah. step by step yeah I never made it. I made this once against uh, Eddie cause to out the back row in his zombie world, but he just dropped it. But it was the right play. I just had to do it. Uh, this never made it. This is just for like a random deck that plays Secret Village. And then, mm. you know, you just summon the bird, you overlay, make this, and then play from there. Uh, Phoenix never made Unicorn, and this is just out the Baguska. Uh, move on to the side. Like that. Uh, I side a second wind barrier statue. People main two. Mm. I think two is just a brick. One is enough. If you're like secure to go first, sometimes you just side it in. It's easy. I side in uh, hummingbird. <laughs> I only side it once. Okay. So <laughs> for theory, <laughs> you don't really need it. But I was just, I was afraid of like, if I ran into time, activate Abbott, mm -hmm. and the ashes, then you just stuck in the draw, right? But if you summon Robina, and then you know. A map, Robina, chain block, everything. You search this, you normal Ooh. summon it of the Robina. Right. And now the only way for you not to win in time is at the impairment or Valor. So you put the pressure so Exactly. On yeah, you, you put, put a pressure. pressure on, yeah. Or like if you draw the Advent plus like the Bina play, then you summon Bina, you search this, you normal summon, activate the effect. Because, you know, they're not going to negate it on summon. So you activate the effect. And then if they do imperm you, you just chain the Advent. And mm -hmm. if they have the Ash, then you just end with a draw or whatever mm -hmm. it is. Uh, uh -huh. I cited third unexplored wins. Like I said, it was just for the uh, flu mirror. Uh, this card is goaded. I don't know mm -hmm. why is it not banned yet. It says your opponent can't play. Mm -hmm. uh, the ultimate slayer, as you see, this is for the uh, the trouble sunny. Uh, two lightning storm never cited in, but it was just for back rows and then three cosmics. Clean. Uh, yeah, it's all for back rows. I always cite these in for any back row decks, which I don't think I played into any. Uh, I never side these in, but I always side these in going uh, second and first against tier, because I know that post side, they, they side in the uh, zombie world package. You wouldn't consider uh, evenly? Uh, I tried it, but I think um, I played evenly for three weeks straight. I like I liked it, don't get me wrong, but I don't want to waste my battle phase. Mm. So I'd rather play cards that, you know, Either like let me play the game still, like mm -hmm. let me battle phase, and then like get rid of cards. This just said minus two on your opponent's board, so it's pretty good. No, the cards are insane. Yeah, you target Kekalos, then you end pop Zombie World if needed. You pop Palerino, pop their Black World, and stuff like that. Oh, uh, my man did it. Let me see the mat. Yeah. My man did it. Yes, sir. First place, Philly. And you know how Philly get. Mm -hmm. like somehow I did it. Listen, uh, Johnny, yes, shout sir. out. Yes, Philly big shout out. out. Uh, big shout out to Evan and Roger for showing me the lines. Uh, I picked this deck up about a month ago. I didn't know much of the line. And then they were, I was asking them, like, hey, uh, what should be the normal ratio? You know, mm -hmm. every person has their own different ratios. Uh, shout out to Juan and Brandon for playtesting with me. Um, shout out to the Penguins chat, the WWE chat, the Johnny and Friends chat. Uh, shout out to my man Josiah over there. He uh, drove me home. Shout out to <laughs> my best friend over there, Amanda. She drove. Uh, she uh, came out, supported me. Shout out to my mom and my brother for supporting me and letting me play in this game. Yeah, there you go. Sure. And shout out to my locals, Gardens Earthly Delights. Gardens, yes, man. Where I'm from. Right on. Listen, my man Johnny, appreciate you. Always gonna see him again. We already know this yep. ain't the last I'll time. See you at the next regional. Yes, yeah, right. All right, man. All right. Peace. Peace.